Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Crafty Beer Reviews. Today, I will be reviewing Commonwealth Marshmallow Eyes IPA. So this is a wheat IPA. They're using wildflower honey and marshmallows. Now, I couldn't find any details about the hops, so we'll just have to go along and see what's what. But I gotta give a huge shout out to Dustin out of Virginia for hooking me up with this can. Dude, thank you so much. You rock. I've never heard of Commonwealth before. I'm assuming they're pretty small, probably on the newer side, so this is really cool. Now, if you guys watch my beer mail video, you should find this pretty funny. When I opened this one up, I didn't know anything about it. I do some research online, and I was kind of joking that they were using marshmallows in this. And it turns out they are using marshmallows in it. So, I guess without further ado, guys and girls, let's go ahead and check out the aroma. Ooh, that's interesting. Right up front, <coughs> excuse me. Right up front, I'm definitely getting citrus, orange, almost like a really sweet tangerine kind of thing. Maybe a little bit of lemon in there, too. Definitely very, very citrus-forward, bright, kind of juicy orange. Bit of mango. Bit of sweetness there, too. Not malt sweetness, just kind of a sweeter note. I'm assuming it's coming from the wildflower honey. I would assume the marshmallows just kind of tend to ferment out. There's really probably not going to be too much influence from those. But yeah, it smells very, it smells very bright and juicy. It smells pretty good, actually. Let's go ahead, check out the taste. Ooh, that's nice. Really refreshing, too. Up front, juicy, sweet orange. Again, kind of that tangerine kind of note. There's definitely a little bit of like lemon, almost like a lemon zest kind of note in there for sure. Maybe a hint of grapefruit, but yeah, very citrusy, very juicy, really easy to drink. Again, it's just got this nice kind of refreshing quality to it. The mouth feels nice too. Creamy coating, smooth, like silky smooth. Definitely, yeah, they're right about that too. Low bitterness for sure. I mean, pretty classic for the style, of course. Not much bitterness, but there's enough that it dries it out just a little bit on the back end, which I really enjoy. And it is on the sweeter side. Even though there is a little bit of bitterness, there is some sweetness too. Probably some residuals left over from the marshmallows, I would imagine, but also probably coming from the wildflower honey. That being said, though, if I didn't know there were marshmallows in this beer, I would have no clue. You don't taste them. You don't smell them. I mean, I really don't think they had too much of an impact on this beer, other than being kind of a novelty thing. I really think that's what it comes down to, but this beer is still very good. It's delicious. It's easy to drink. It is juicy, refreshing, all that. Yeah, that tangerine with like the bright orange, very citrusy, just really nice. There's not a ton of depth to this one, but I could see myself crushing quite a few of these on like a nice warm summer day. Summer day. So cool stuff, especially coming from a brewery that I had never heard of. So Dustin, again, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate you hooking me up with this beer, getting to try this one, getting to try my first marshmallow IPA, because that's the thing, guys. Only in America would there ever be a marshmallow IPA. I feel like the rest of the world is probably like, what the fuck is wrong with you guys? And maybe they're right. Maybe they're wrong. I don't know. You know, I mean, the, the spirit of invention, the spirit of experimentation is certainly well alive in craft brewing in America, that's for goddamn sure. So, in terms of rating for this one, guys, I'm going to go with an 8.8 out of 10. Again, very enjoyable, very easy to drink, it's creamy, smooth, just a nice citrusy, juicy kind of wheat IPA, really enjoyable stuff. If you guys have had this beer or something else from Commonwealth, please let me know down in the comments below. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching. You know you gotta hit that like button for me and make sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos and of course I hope whatever you're doing involves good craft beer. 
Cheers.